this video, we will learn why Tom Cruise almost got the lead role in Shawshank Redemption, instead of Tim Robbins. So get the popcorn and a drink of your choice ready. The show is about to begin. You may not know this fact, but The Shawshank Redemption is the highest rated movie of all time on IMDb. This is no surprise for all the fans of the 1994 cult classic. Decades after its release, The Shawshank Redemption remains a real cinematic gem. But the movie, that we all know and love, almost became something completely different. Here is how. The Shawshank Redemption is based on a novella Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption, written by Stephen King. It tells the story of Banker, who is sentenced to life in Shawshank State Penitentiary, for the murders of his wife and her lover, despite his claims of innocence. Frank Darabont purchased the film rights to King's story in 1987. He was going to write, and direct the Shawshank Redemption, as his film debut. Five years later, when the movie started getting noticed in Hollywood, famous film director, Rob Reiner, who just had a big hit with, A Few Good Men, made an offer that Frank Darabont found hard to refuse. Reiner offered $3 million for the rights to the novella. Rob Reiner, who had previously adapted King's 1982 novella The Body, into the 1986 film Stand By Me, planned to cast Tom Cruise as Andy and Harrison Ford as Red. Rob Reiner was co-founder of Castle Rock Entertainment, and since at the time, prison-based films were not considered likely box office successes, Frank Darabont needed the studio. Castle Rock offered to finance any other film that Frank Darabont wanted to develop. Darabont seriously considered the offer, citing growing up poor in Los Angeles, believing it would elevate his standing in the industry, and that Castle Rock could have contractually fired him and given the film to Reiner, anyway, but he chose to remain the director, saying in a 2014 Variety interview, you can continue to defer your dreams in exchange for money and, you know, die without ever having done the thing you set out to do. Things worked out well. Rob Reiner, became a mentor for Frank Darabont on his debut movie, instead. Within two weeks of showing the script to Castle Rock, Darabont had a $25 million budget to make his film, and pre-production began in January 1993. 